For this activity, we will be using pattern blocks. You can access virtual manipulatives by going to the Math Learning Center website. They also offer standalone apps for tablets and smartphones. We will build trains using the blocks in the left-hand panel of the screen. For the first train, the cars are going to be green triangles. As we build our trains, we also want to find its perimeter. For a single car, we can see that as we work our way around the triangle, we reach a measure of six units for the perimeter. Now, let's put two cars together, joining two green triangles along a common side. If we continue this process, we can create the next train out of three green triangle cars. Now, let's organize the data that you've collected into a table. Suppose we change the type of cars that we use. Build a single car train with a yellow hexagon. Again, we can join two hexagons along one side to form a two-car train. And we continue the process to build a three-car train. And the table for the yellow hexagon trains would look something like this. As before, let's change the cars that we use and we'll build trains this time with the red trapezoids. For our second iteration, we have two trapezoids that are adjoined, and we'll follow up with, as always, a three-car red trapezoid train. And now that we've collected several pieces of data, let's organize that information. For our last train, we'll do something a little different. We'll use different types of cars when building our trains, and we'll continue the pattern of alternating cars. And here we can see a one car, a two car, a three car, and a four car train. As before, continue to collect data and enter measures into a table. And to conclude with a bit of a chuckle, here's one of my favorite jokes. What's the difference between a professor and a railroad conductor? One trains the mind, the other minds the train.